I removed the main panel by releasing the bottom holders and disconnecting the wire from the display. Checking the burner flames during operation through the burner observation window. The burner flames should be steady and blue. Yellow inconsistent bouncing flames may be an indication of poor ventilation or even blockage. This may require further internal pipe inspection. Observing for any blockage or restriction. Ensuring proper operation by manually opening the pressure relief valve. Shutting off the cold water valve and cleaning the water filter with cold water and toothbrush. It requires replacement if it's damaged. The interior part is over, so I reconnect the wire back to the display and closing the main panel. That's the diagram from the installation guide. Unplugging from the electricity. Shutting off the cold and hot valves. And relieved pressure from the system by opening a hot water valve in a faucet. Connecting line A from the inlet of the water heater to the pump. Wrapping the water heater with a cloth that I use as a water filter, then placing both into the bucket. Connecting line B from the water heater outlet to the bucket. Filling the bucket with vinegar. The installation manual requires straight white vinegar, but since I was not able to find such and was not sure if that refers to a cleaning vinegar which has 6% acidity, I eventually decided to flush with distilled which has 5% acidity. The vinegar amount is based on the bucket size. It should submerge both lines. In my case, I used 2 gallons. Once the vinegar coming from line B came out clean, I stopped. This took around 8 minutes. I flushed out the vinegar with cold water. Turning the system, the hot and cold valves on. Time taken, less than an hour. Price for the materials, around 50 bucks. Price for tools and materials, around 170. Thanks for watching.